or a deleted design. So in this week's tutorial I will show you how you can route multiple outputs from contact to Pro Tools. Cory Brunneman asked me specifically how you can output uh, contact to multiple outputs and make new outputs. So let's make a contact here. So here I have contact 4. This is the contact player. So I'll use the contact multi. So let me open, so for example, a crack metal kit. All right, so now we have several, several outputs here. So, okay, so the problem is that we have this thing that it only shows us uh, that we have only these four auxes here. So what we need to do is that is that we open contact and then we click add channels and then we add one uh, stereo channel and now the new channel is here so what we do is that we connect these to the physical outputs of the channel for and then it says for changes to become effective please close and reopen your session and then we do all these changes for our different auxes so I'll put all these to the different outputs. All right, so now we have output the, them on the channels. So now what we do is that we save the session and then we click on the make default button, which should be here. Okay, so what we do is that we go to save current output section state as default for AirTask plugin. So then we go to file, save, and then we quit Pro Tools, which might seem a bit weird, but we just have to quit Pro Tools and then we reopen Pro Tools. Okay, and then we reopen the session. And now when we check, it should have the things that we want. And the first one in the list is the stereo output so in this case it's the kicks so this is the kicks one and two and then we just route the next ones actually the fastest way to do this is that to select all of these then you press down command option shift and then you select the first one and then it routes the next ones to the others as we can see here so let's make a few more aux tracks so, since the last one was crash, we'll do the same thing, splosh China. And since we don't need the NA tracks, we'll just delete them. And now, well, if you would make 12 tracks, you would just do this to record your audio. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial interesting. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Uh, thank you for watching and make good music.